Element managers are responsible to understand the target infrastructure. Let's take Blade Logic Server Automation for example. Responsible for managing the application stack, the operating system, making sure it's in compliance. So scripts can be executed within the solution, jobs can be executed. Based on the results of a particular job, I can trigger other jobs and so forth. So automation is really built into the solution. Then we have, for example, uh, the patrol agent, the true site agent. We have the capabilities to monitor the infrastructure, taking key performance indicator and then analyze the data and the behavior of the application over time. Based on intelligence that we build into the knowledge modules and the monitoring solution itself, we can trigger intelligence alerts or intelligent events and then correlate them and analyze them further to whatever service model we want to apply to. Again, an automation solution targeted for a particular uh, IT infrastructure and using specific scripts to automate uh, its behavior. Then we have Remedy. We have ITSM, Change Management, Incident Management, Task Management. Those are just some of the few management capabilities within Remedy that we are using to manage our uh, IT processes, basically. Now, this is all automation. We have our different uh, IT and process automation solutions. They all work independently from each other. But if you want to automate this process, well, here we, yeah, we, we, we get to a certain point with orchestrating uh, these activities. But if you want to take this kind of automation and bring this together, you see it really doesn't work. So we need really a solution, an orchestration solution, that can bridge the gap between the different domain tools, the different uh, siloed automation solution, and bring them together. So orchestration is really going the next step, bringing different IT processes together and managing them end from end to end, synchronizing the individual tasks. For example, in our case, we have an event coming from the patrol agent. We want to analyze is the service down or not, trigger a recovery action or analyze uh, CPU metrics or other key performance indicators. Based on the events, we want to initiate uh, a triage. We want to initiate an incident on our incident management solution. Well, we need to understand if the Blade Logic Server Automation solution installed a new patch, for example, that caused the audit. Well, if you want to bring Blade Logic into place, you see that really doesn't go. And if you want to trigger an incident based on the information that we receive from these two worlds, they don't work together. We are therefore in, a, in need of a solution that can bridge the gap between the different APIs, between the different technologies that are being used. Atrium Orchestrator is the solution that brings this together. If we just look at the individual automation, we need to be able to wrap them into a more co cohesive way, in a way that we can leverage the full potential of the individual uh, automation solution. We have an HM Orchestrator workflow. We take this workflow and wrap the underlying element manager in a workflow. Now, if we want to orchestrate now, this is much easier because we abstracted the different technologies that are being used here and made them available to a set of different consumers within the orchestration environment. Mm -hmm. Since we want to reuse these workflows and want to consolidate on how we operate, we even take some of the processes that we have on the remedy side and put them together. So well, it looks like this. We have our low-level element manager, we have our IT management solution, and now we can put orchestration in place.